Hello amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. I think we need to talk a little bit about the new OSCP exam requirements because first of all the old situation, at least how I did it and this is going to be valid until January 11th. So um, in my situation you had five machines you could hack. You had a 10 pointer which was an easy machine you had that was just a usually not a foothold in my case just directly an admin account then you had two 20 pointers and those were media machines and they were more like a foothold and a admin and getting a privilege escalation then you had a 25 pointer for the buffer overflow and you had a 25 pointer for a hard machine now that's how it used to be it's gonna be very different after january 11 2022 because now the new oscp exam requirements are going to be you need to hack three separate machines like we had before but we had we used to have five separate machines now it's going to be three separate machines those machines are going to be worth 60 points in total, so 20 points each. The buffer overflow is going to go from 25 points to one of the steps of the 20 pointers of the separate machines. And it's going to be worth only 10 points, so uh, it's not even going to be guaranteed to be in your exam. You might not even have a buffer overflow in there anymore. And it's going to be part of your two-step targets, of course. And usually it's going to be 10 points per step. That's for the three separate machines. You also have one domain controller and two clients. That's going to be a network. And you need to hack the, com you need to compromise the full network with an active directory on it to actually get any marks at all. It's all or nothing on this one. And you need to, you can get 40 points on this. Now, 70 points are required to pass. This means that you need to hack your network of 40 points. Because if you only hack your separate machines, you only have 60 points and you don't have enough to pass. So you need to hack your network and then you can see, oh, I need, I have 40 points, I need 30 points more. Of course, that's not the right way to do it. You should try to strive for as much points as possible, but that will give you an idea. So I would recommend starting maybe with the network and then moving on to the separate machines later on. So you, your mind can boil on the network a little bit. Your subconscious can work on it. Because that one is not gonna be easy, of course, and you're gonna have to go back and forth several times because you're gonna get stuck and I don't want you to keep thinking out overthinking if you're stuck in a rabbit hole. At that time, it's time to move on, to take a break and to go do something else like eat an ice cream or something, something to take your mind off of it. But remember, you do need to hack that entire network plus some separate machines to pass in this case. It's gonna better reflect all of the different things that you have to learn in the OSCP, in my opinion. Uh, it, it's a really good change. And also there is a bonus possible for 10 points that used to be your exercises, your exercise report. In this case, you can get a bonus for 10 points, but you need 10 lab machines hacked with at least one of them active directory. You need to put in a detailed report of all of the exercises and the labs as well. And that might net you 10 points. So if you have all the three separate machines and the bonus, you might just have enough to pass, but I wouldn't count on it. Anyway, I would do the exercises and I would do the bonus just for this extra 10 points in case you really need them, in case you have the domain controller and the clients, and then you might have another 20 pointer, but where's your 10 points? It might be gone. Well, that's might be your savior. Uh, anyway, this should give you some context. The exam changes on January 11, 2022, and the lab report format changes on March 14, 2022. 
Um, so make sure that you actually are updated with these new rules. Make sure that you read them as well. I'm going to put them in the description below. Uh, and I hope you guys pass. Good luck, amazing hackers. Know that Uncle Red is by your side. Much love. I'll see you later. Bye, amazing hackers.